I'm really pleased and indeed proud to be here with you today. This document, Good Surgical Practice, has been over a year in the writing and the making and the thinking. Good Surgical Practice is publication from the Royal College of Surgeons in England talking about their core standards as related to good medical practice. They talk about attitudes, behaviours and the underlying professional attributes of surgeons. I think it's all about the standards and values that we have in surgical practice that is so inspiring. The NHS for a long time has accepted poor values and standards and individual surgeons have produced a huge amount of variation in practice, variation in standards, which has led to variation in outcomes and the Royal College's standards have produced a framework of, of, of values really. It's values as much as rules, I think, that will enable surgeons to practice so much more safely in the future. We've made absolutely explicit what we expect of people from the surgical checklist. I think we can no longer allow people to vacillate about whether this is important or not important. The general view is a bit like washing your hands. This is something you just have to do. I think it has definitely improved patient experience and safety. I think it's very important for trainees coming through the system to be aware that there are guidance for them and, and uh, principles to adhere to. So I was very interested to hear the updated version and that it's a, a UK-wide guidelines. Uh, I think it'd be something very, that's very useful for trainees to reflect on and, uh, and, and go to. It's not actually just about checking, it's about the whole ethos of the safety culture, it's about the whole business of team working, it's about being open to challenge and it's about learning from other people and making sure that the patient lies at the heart of it and that patient is safe. So there is something for everyone in this document and what's come out of it for me is to think more deeply about the multidisciplinary working that I do and the document addressed lines of accountability when we're making these group style decisions and it's something I need to go away and have a think about. So this is a, a slightly aspirational document but we hope that you'll find it meaningful. We know that some aspects of it you can't do on your own but by engaging with the people with whom you do work, your trust, your management, by being part of the solution we think that you can make a phenomenal contribution towards the employers that you work for, to the environment you work in, and to the people you will train to be the next generation of surgeons. So it's a big responsibility of you all, and that's why we wanted to produce guidance to help with that. I think for me, good, good surgical practice is a reminder of the standards I should be striving to in my own personal surgical practice and in a wider context uh, in the hospital and in the NHS in general that the standards we should be striving for that will improve patient outcomes. UHSM has been a fantastic occasion. There's a real buzz of enthusiasm in the hospital as a whole. We've met core trainees, higher surgical trainees and people in full-time practice and they feel very much that this document will be a wonderful guide and basis for them as they move forward in their surgical careers. Mm -hmm.